Right, I'm going to test the boards first of all just using a standard bracket. Um, I can only test um, four of the boards using that because the Shot Bandit Plus has got its own back. I'll show you what the boards are like. Right then, so these are the backs of the boards. That's the Unicorn Eclipse Pro 2 and the only difference between that board and the others is I've got the rubber feet on this one and on the HD2. I don't know where I put the feet so I can't put it on the other boards. Uh, that's the 180 G3 and that has got its own little uh, threaded hole in the back with the screw in. And on the Blade 4 dual core I've took the rotor lock wheels off so I'm just going to be using the screw. Ooh, hey my knees. And that's the Unicorn Eclipse HD2 which is the same as the Eclipse Pro 2 with the little rubber feet on. Um, I'm not going to bother taking them off, I don't think it's going to make that much difference but uh, this is the Shop Bandit Plus and as you can see it's got its own like plastic back so it needs a special uh, bracket for that and I'll put that up after I've tested the others. So I'm going to test them all apart from the Shop Bandit Plus with just the normal screwing and then afterwards I'll put the rotor lock wheels on the B4 DC and I'll retest that and I'll also test the Shop Bandit Plus and after I've done that I'm going to attach the rotor fix uh, to the boards and then see what difference it makes with that. Right so I've got the Eclipse HD2 on the wall I'm going to go round the board three darts top, middle, bottom, left, right or whatever so 15 darts in total I'm throwing the 24 gram Gerwin price darts got the mobile set up there I've not got it against the wall because I don't want it to pick up vibrations so you should be able to see that but when I look back on the footage I'll record whatever the highest um, recording is and then we'll check the results after that. This is the uh, Unicorn Eclipse Pro 2. Right, this is the Winmar Blade 4 dual core. I've changed the uh, shaft on one of the darts because I Robin Hooded it, so I had to start again. This is the 180 Gladiator 3. Right, this is the Winmore Blade 4 dual car, but now I've got the rotor lock wheels on and I've tightened it up so there's no like looseness now.
Right, I've got the Shock Bandit Plus up now. Right, so now I've put the uh, rotor fix up on the wall and I'm going to test the G3 first with it attached. Right, this is the Eclipse Pro 2 with the rotor fix attached. Right now I've got the Eclipse HD2 on with the rotor fix. Right now we've got the Windmore Blade 4 dual car on the wall with the rotor fix. Right, so I've tested all the boards now with the rotor fix on them with the normal bracket and also the Shop Bandit Plus and the dual core with its own connections. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the results after I've checked the recording and then I'll do another two tests after that which will be slightly different but I'm not going to go through all the boards, I'm just going to uh, test the um, HD2. So I'll do the results now. Right then, this is the results of what I've done. Um, this is the HD2 with the normal bracket and that's all the recordings that the mobile picked up. The lowest was 31 decibels, highest was 68 and the average was 49.66 decibels. And if you compare that to the same board with the rotor fix attached, the average was 47.46 so it's improved with the rotor fix but on the Pro 2 which is here without the rotor fix and using the normal bracket it was 51.73 decibels for the average but with the rotor fix it's increased quite a lot so that's a little bit strange not sure why that might be and this is the Blade 4 dual core and with the normal bracket it was 48.86 decibels and with its own rotor lock wheels on it's increased quite a lot so I can only assume that the wheels are causing uh, a vibration or noise from the wall 
and with the rotor fix on it was quite similar to what it was with the normal bracket but a slight improvement there very slight and with the G3 the average was 50.46 and with the rotor fix on it's improved again 49.06 and the shop bandit plus which has got its own um, cover around the back and its own special connection that average was 49.2 decibels so with the normal brackets on uh, the blade 4 dual core came out the best and the pro 2 was the worst out of the thing we but there's a not a lot in it the biggest difference is between that and the pro 2 but the first three are very similar in results and obviously the bandit plus and the blade 4 dual core with its um, roll lock wheels on and I was surprised at the uh, quite a big difference with the rotor lock wings on there. So with the rotor fix attached, the HD2 came out the best at 47.46 decibels. Then the Blade 4 dual core, then the Gladiator 3. Um, it's quite a, a decent difference between that and the others, but again, it's quite a massive difference on the Pro 2. So quite unusual that. Now the only thing I can get gather from this is um, it could depend how the microphone on the mobile picks up the sounds it may register higher pitch sounds more than it does the kind of uh, thud kind of noises and also it depends on where the darts land on the board sometimes uh, areas of the board seem to be denser than others and produces a different sound but you can look at the test there and just decide what yourself but for me hearing the stats hitting the board I actually thought the HD2 and the Gladiator 3 were the quietest so I'm quite surprised that the Blade 4 came up as the quietest I thought the G3 and the HD2 were quite a bit quieter to my own ears but you'll probably be able to tell from the sound of the darts hitting it as well from what the cameras recorded so basically that's the results of that. Right, so what I've got up now is my old Winmore 1978 dartboard. Um, I've put the rotor fix on the back. So just see what that's like. Darts on this board go right up to the nose of the barrel. It's very soft. Right then, for the final test I've got the Unicorn HD2 with the Rotafix bracket attached and I've got my Home Pro uh, lighting surround on, see whether that makes any difference to the sound. So I'll check on the uh, recording now and I'll put the results of that. As a final test I did the uh, Winmore 1978 board and that is a really soft board and the darts were going right up to the nose of the barrel but having said that it wasn't as loud as what I thought it would have been. It's 53.06 I thought it may have made a louder noise with it hitting the back of the board easier with it being so soft but the big surprise there is the HD2 with the rotor fix and the home pro surround that's come out quite a lot lower at 46.93 decibels and it had the lowest recording out of any of them at 22 now there could be a reason for that maybe the mobile is not picking up the sound because it's inside the 
it's around and it's uh, kind of masking the sound a little bit but to my ears it did sound quieter with the surround on and I think it's because you kind of blocking off the gaps around the board and uh, you know there's less vibration of the air escaping or whatever it might be I don't know but I think if you want to make your board quiet as possible then probably having some kind of like matting behind it you could probably even do a thin rubber mat and still attach the rotor fix on and I think it would probably make it even quieter it's all about lessening the vibrations but it also depends on how your darts hit the board mine tend to come in at an angle and on most boards my points only go in maybe about five or six millimeters if you're a hard throw and you throw your darts pretty flat chances are it's going to go and hit the back of the board more than it will for me and in that case you'll probably make a louder sound so you may want a board that's more dense and a little bit thicker than others and in that case I wouldn't go for the Shop Bandit Plus because it's quite a narrow board even though it was uh, a decent performer on the sound it is very narrow and if you're a hard throw and can hit the back of the board and you've got long points then your chances are you're going to make more sound and it's also the sound that's hitting the wall so obviously the people in the next room they'll hear the sound more I'm only testing the sound as I'm hearing it in the same room um, kind of awkward to test the sound on the other side of the wall actually but that's the results of that and quite an interesting thing I thought I would try and do um, be interested to hear what you think about that so that's the end of that thanks for watching